customer report. For the customer report, we must first have your design done, obviously. You must also have your global specifications set. I clicked on it and I've got my global spec set. Um, if you don't have your global spec set, as I just turned them off here, cleared all, when you click a custom report button and view report, it tells you that you must set value for door style before creating a report for Kemper Catalog. Now, if you do happen to have your door style um, over here set, but you don't have anything else, you know, another one set, it'll give you that. So everything needs to be set. So if you see that message, you know you need to come back over here and uh, set your global specifications. Um, let's just grab something here. Pick a color. And some hardware. There we go. Now I'm going to click on my customer report. Opens up with catalog settings. And here we have Kemper cabinetry highlighted in here. You have to click on it to highlight it. If you have more than one of these, um, you can actually go in, say you've got three or four different catalogs in your design, or maybe just two catalogs. You can price these individually or together, or maybe price one not at all, depending on whether you choose to include it in the catalog in customer report. Um, come up with a sales tax of one. I want to set it to zero. Design charge. Got a $20 design charge in there. I'm going to set it to zero. Set all this stuff to zero here. Now you can fill this in with however you needed it. If you knew your shipping or you wanted to add extra shipping in, say to deliver to the customer's house, um, you could definitely put that in there. Or if you already knew your shipping, you could add that in there. Installation. If you want to put installation in here, you can do that. So we've got 500 in here or 5,000 in here. Might be a little overkill on the installation price, but hey, I doubt your installer would complain if you gave him five grand to install this little kitchen. Um, but this pricing here is a per box pricing. So it's going to be a little heavy. Um, if we set it there and then come over to our pricing, we'll see that it's charging us $5,000 for every item in the catalog. A little bit extreme. So if you want to use the per pricing, um, and this is how some people actually do it, you know, they charge, okay, 50 is a little bit, a little bit much, but they may charge, you know, $15 per box to install it. Um, I used to work with some installers that did it that way. If you want to do your installation charge um, as a overall, I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, discount, you can set your discount in here. This would be your dealer multiplier. Uh, in a percentage so if you know what that is you can set that in there you might have to do a little math to figure it out uh, I don't have a dealer multiplier so I'm gonna leave it as zero include you can put your logo in here if you want to if you know where your logo is at you can grab it and include it in there you can put a page footer and a page header in there and you can enter in there what you want it to be here's our pricing um, this is a list of pricing for everything we've got in the design according to the global specifications we have selected. If you want to do pricing as far as installation goes on an individual cabinet or not an individual on an overall pricing, you just come in here and click under the installation. Any line, doesn't matter which, which line it is here as long as it's under the installation column. And you can put your install price in here, 500 and now this will install it just once for us. Um, project settings, you can put your uh, project name in here, all this information if you'd like to fill that out. And make this a size that will work for everybody here. Okay, so here's our first page. Basically comes up with your dealer information and customer information, which I don't have set. I apologize. I should have had that all set for you. Um, door style on our next page shows us our door style and, uh, and all of our global selections. And here we come with our pricing. And our price computation page here at the end. We've got our total cabinet pricing, um, our drawer fronts, and any, any up charges here. These would be our up charge options show up over here. And again, our discount, we didn't set a discount of price. Installation price, $500. If 
but our total price down here to 26, 28,000. So of course that would be list pricing and you'd need to use a multiplier off of that for your actual customer price, which you, we could have set here, but we didn't. So that is customer report in a nutshell.